Welcome everyone. This interesting question. We are having a blue circular sheet from which a cutout is made in form of a quadrilateral with side length 2, 3, 4 and 5 cm. Exciting part is with this limited data we have to find the remaining area of this blue sheet. Let's check this simple and elegant solution. So the area of this remaining blue sheet is what is area of initial circular sheet minus area of this cyclic quadrilateral and for the area of initial circular sheet we need the radius of the circle now to find the radius of the circle let's check the solution let's start by joining the diagonal of quadrilateral ac let's assume this angle d here is alpha degrees thus this angle b we know that in a cyclic quadrilateral the opposite angles are supplementary so angle b will be 180 minus alpha to proceed further we'll use cosine rule which states that in a triangle with side a b and c a square is b square plus c square minus 2 b c cos a where a is the angle opposite to side length a so using this cosine rule in triangle a d c we get a c square is 5 square plus 4 square minus 2 times of 5 times 4 times cos alpha simplifying it will get our equation in this form same cosine rule will apply in triangle a b c so here we'll have a c square is 2 square plus 3 square minus 2 times 2 times 3 times cos of angle b or 180 minus alpha but we know that in trigo cos of 180 minus alpha is nothing but minus cos alpha so replacing this and simplifying it will get ac square as 13 square and this negative will become positive so plus 12 cos alpha now from this second equation we'll subtract our first equation on subtracting we'll get this ac square on both sides will get cancelled down so 13 minus 41 that's minus 28 and 12 cos alpha minus of minus 40 cos alpha so that becomes plus 52 cos alpha simplifying it will get cos alpha as 28 by 52 so simplifying it further it will get cancelled by 4 will get cos alpha is 7 by 13 we'll put value of this cos alpha in this equation to get ac square as 13 plus 12 times of 7 by 13 simplifying it will get ac square as 253 by 13 or ac as square root of 253 by 13 here cos alpha is known and the length of diagonal ac is known with the help of cos alpha we can find value of sin alpha using this formula putting value of cos alpha as 7 by 13 we will get sin alpha as 2 root 30 upon 13 now further we will use sin rule sin rule in a triangle it states that a upon sin a is b upon sin b is c upon sin c which is equals to 2 times of circum radius radius which is passing through the vertex of the triangle so here we'll apply this sine rule in this particular triangle a c d so instead of a we'll take the side a c and the sine a will become sine alpha so we'll get a c upon sine alpha is two times of circum radius or the radius of the circle which we have to find putting the values of a c as square root of 253 by 13 and sin alpha is this will get value of 2r in this form simplifying it will get r as square root of 329 upon 4 root 30 now the initial area of this circular sheet that's pi r square let's put the value of pi and r in the equation and solving it will get value of this initial circular sheet as 21.53 centimeter square now we need to find the area of this cyclic quadrilateral whose cutout is made and then we'll subtract them to get the area of remaining blue sheet now let's find the area of this quadrilateral 
we can find it in two ways one is we can split this quadrilateral in two triangles here the length ac is given to us so these two triangles we can find individually areas by using heron's formula we can find these two triangle areas by using formula of half of ab sin alpha and here the value of sin alpha is also already calculated personally i like to find the area of this cyclic quadrilateral by using bhram gupta's formula which says that area is square root of s minus a s minus b s minus c and s minus d where s is semi perimeter now here the perimeter is your 7 10 14 so 14 cm semi perimeter will be 7 cm so the area of this cyclic quadrilateral will be putting these values and calculating it will get as 2 root 30 which in decimal form will be 10.95 cm square now that we have got area of this full circle and area of this cut out quadrilateral we can get the remaining blue area as difference between these two which is nothing but 10.58 cm square and that's our answer i hope you enjoyed the solution i will see you in next video till then tata bye bye